K-I-L-R Killer Games Hello, gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome back to the tour around the world featuring X Plane 5. This is a later version of X Plane 5. There's actually two versions of X Plane 5. One of them is X Plane Classic 5, I think is what it's called. And then there is X Plane uh, version 5.52, uh, which is what this is and uh, happens to be uh, in the box of the, uh, the picture that I'm showing down below. So this is uh, the actual uh, boxed release, uh, the first boxed release uh, that I've been able to find. This right here. And we're going to be following the same flight plans like we have in the other simulators. So, where are we, and where are we going? Well, let's talk about that. Okay, so we are here at Chicago O'Hare, and we are going to be flying over here to DuPage. And we're just going to go ahead and tune in the uh, DuPage VOR, which is 108.4, and, well, that should get us pretty much in the right uh, direction of it. Uh, pretty close anyway. Uh, if we, uh, let's see, I don't know, come in around, can't even read that. <laughs> That's three, four, five, six. All right, so yeah, if we, I'm sure we'll see it. I don't think we need to do anything, any any type of fancy flying or anything to find it. So I think we'll be good. Really, no need to make it more complicated than what it <laughs> than what it is. Keep it keep it simple, isn't that what they say? Keep it simple, stupid. And we do have uh, actual ATC on here. Um, let's just go ahead and request a uh, taxi to the active. Oh, it didn't say anything. Cessna 9 or 4 9 or 2 Echo Taxi Runway 4 left. Okay, well, now it did. <laughs> it took a little bit. 4 left. Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure uh, where 4 left is at. Turn left at Victor, straight ahead on Bravo and ground point on Okay. We'll see what we can find here. Now, I was hoping uh, that that I'd be able to add some buildings. <clears throat> Haven't quite gotten that part worked out yet. Thank you very much. Options uh, 9529, Gulf Street, Travis, come out final, runway one, no delay, let's take off. Approaching 
Now, let's take this taxiway and see if this. Kind of gets us in the right area. <laughs> I'm looking at the, um, the gyro compass uh, to see if I'm getting somewhere close. On an airport this size, uh, without any type of uh, map or anything, it's kind of hard to find the runway that that you need to take off from. Maybe we'll just drive there. My goodness, this is a very long runway. They're like all over the place here. Let's go this way. We're we're in a maze. Uh, we're just kind of, you know, finding our way around. There is a runway up there, which could be it. I know, we could just take off from any runway if we wanted to, but, um... Well, I thought it... If we tried, uh... Taking off from the actual runway that they were saying... I don't know if there's any of this is going to really help, though. Low on route chart, sectional chart... Yeah, so you can see a sectional chart here. Gotta be careful, don't click on any of this because then it, then it'll just put your aircraft there. K125, turn left at Victor, straight ahead on Bravo and ground point on it. I can zoom out, that might help. Okay, so there is uh, Chicago O'Hare. <clears throat> and three left. Actually, I think this might be it right here. I think that might be three left. There, There's an L. <laughs> that looks like a, a nine, actually. This helps a little bit. Hey, look, we're floating up in the clouds. <clears throat> wow, so many runways. Which ones do we choose? I don't know. Maybe we'll just pick one. <laughs> Runway 32. Let's see, 36 is... I'm not sure where 4 is. I mean, I, that could be 4 left. I don't know. There we are. Tell you what, how about we... Uh, yeah, how about we take that runway right there? That's not, that looks like a good plan. <clears throat> K-125, 
Well, while we're moving stuff around, let's go ahead and set the nav radios up. It was 108.4. There we go. Well, we got our direction. Should we just take off from this taxiway? We'll be going in the right direction. <laughs> Nine right. Well, that's close, right? Right? Correct? I don't know. Okay, we are in the air. So it should be in this direction here. Turn that down a little bit just in case it's a little too loud. We do have an autopilot here. Yeah. So we got autopilot here.
Got about 15 miles until we get to the DuPage VOR. So that could be the airport right up there. Cessna 9 or 4 9 or 2 echo turn left heading 255 vectors Chicago Dubich. They are about 10 miles from your current position. 255, okay. About 10 miles. So we can change this to. that roughly. I was looking at the graphics settings um, for X-Plane 5. I don't really see anything in regards to roads. Right, I can pull that up here. So if we take a look at rendering options, this is what we got. Draw objects, forest fires, draw air traffic, oil rigs, trees, frigates, aircraft, um, nothing here really in regards to roads or anything so looks like we have some uh, very 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 uh, simple scenery that we're working with here well they're not vector roads um, you know, that we've come to know them in later versions of X-Plane. So you could probably still, you know, use the, uh, the world editor to draw out lines or something for roads. Now, I don't think that's DuPage up there ahead. Cessna 9 or 4 9 or 2 echo turn left heading 255 vectors Chicago DuPage. They are about 6 miles from your current position. That could be it actually. We can go here to, here we go, output, and if we go to low on route chart, and yeah, we zoom in here,
And yep, whoops, <laughs> trying to get off to the side there. That is DuPage that we're that we're approaching right there. So. and put down our flaps and we'll get ready to land. Cessna 9 or 4 9 to Echo Line, come. Year to land one way, one left, Chicago do reach. <laughs> Remember, the wind is calm. There's a runway that's off, heading off to an angle right here, but I think we're just going to land on uh, any runway, like that one that, that I'm seeing right there. <laughs> What are they going to do? Are they going to take away our license? Was that a crash? What was that? That sounded like the uh, like the plane crashed or something. Is there a taxiway or something over here? Oh, yep, yeah, there's something right here. Okay, three mile final turby, left base, uh, runway one, five, two, four, three, two. Four, departure, call 5992, just out of uh, 4,700, Looks like there might be a parking spot, or like right over here. We have to kind of, you know, go over the grass to get to it, but, uh... <laughs> it 
stuck in the mud here. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> perfect, uh, perfect stop there. Alright, um, we'll just double check and make sure that we are actually here at DuPage. And sure enough, uh, yep, we're there at, at uh, we're at DuPage, so good deal. I hope you enjoyed this look back at X-Plane 5 as we fly the same flights that are being done on the other flight simulators. And uh, if you are enjoying this look back, hey, click that like button. It helps me out, helps out the channel, helps out the series. Share it uh, with your friends and family, social media, and if you're new here, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so that way you get notified of future flight simulation content such as X-Plane and Flight Simulator going all the way up to the latest one of Flight Simulator 2020. And if you love live streams, I do live streaming over on Twitch. So head on over there and give me a follow and uh, well, maybe I'll catch you online great thing about me uh, doing live streams is that there are times where I will as I'm recording episodes I'll also live stream them and that gives you a chance to be a part of the show I don't always do it uh, but those times that I do it gives you a chance to see stuff weeks and months ahead of time and then um, over on Instagram I take pictures and photos of projects that I'm working on behind the scenes Twitter, we use that for uh, killer official news and announcements, retweets of things that I think you might find interesting. Snapchat, uh, just kind of use that once in a while, just for just just for for some fun. So if you have a, have an account, you can add me if you like. And then Patreon for those of you who'd like to support uh, the killer cause of what it is that I'm doing and would like to help uh, help me and help make this channel grow. There is that as well, and there are some bonuses and rewards set up for you there. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode, the next leg of our exciting journey. Have a killer, awesome day.